You're watching Tides of Time, preserving the world's threatened marine sites. Brought to you by UNESCO, Jager Le Cult, and the International Herald Tribune. This month, Ujong Kulon. UNESCO worked with the Indonesian government to develop what it calls a public use plan for Ujong Kulon. This plan outlines what new structures the site can accommodate from restaurants to roads. The plan was adopted, but soon after, thanks to information from tourists, UNESCO learned that the park director himself had authorized a hotel concession on the site's most sensitive spot. Typically what happens in these cases is that the uh, park management, which is semi-autonomous in the way it works, uh, may receive, uh, let's say, some incentives to bend the rules and to suit some uh, private investor who would like to put a particular infrastructure project in a particular place, and this is what happened in this case. And as a result, uh, plans for a hotel were, were put together on a piece of land that was earmarked as one of the most sensitive parts of this site on the coast. Uh, luckily, we heard about this and we immediately talked to the national authorities. We said, we asked them if they knew about this, if they could check up. And thanks to this communication between us, between tourists who were at the site and saw this happening, and the national authorities who were cooperative 100% in this particular issue, this particular concession was in fact uh, cancelled. We have over 850 World Heritage Sites out there, and the staff of the World Heritage Centre is very limited. We rely tremendously on the support and help from anybody who's out there. It could be tourists, it could be local communities, it could be conservation organizations working at the site, or governments themselves who see what's going on, think that there's something fishy going on, and will report them to us in any way. I've just had an email today from uh, someone reporting some issues that don't seem very clear in, in Honduras, for example. 